Thank you for the privilege of the podium. Uh, not, I have nothing to disclose. Uh, just a little background. Sleeves have become the most common bariatric operation in recent past with over 125,000 procedures performed annually. These are elective operations, however, not benign, and uh, some devastating complications do occur. Uh, leaks and bleeds are the most worrisome of them. Uh, in a recent study about to be published by Daigle et al, uh, studying 135 bariatric operations, bleeding was the most common operation. They also concluded bleeding had the highest weighted uh, contribution to reoperation and ICU admission. It was also the highest contributor, uh, amongst the highest contributors to end organ failure and mortality. Um, what we know about from other studies, uh, post-operative hemorrhage after a sleeve happens in about 0.3% of patients and an increased cost of about $5,000. So staple line treatment has been proposed as a, as a method to control the bleeding or prevent the bleeding, and there's a lot of literature on that. The two most common methods of doing this, uh, for those who are unaware of this in the audience, is oversewing and buttressing. So oversewing, you use a uh, absorbable suture material and over so the staple line buttressing there are various, various commercially available products available to stop uh, to, to promote hemostasis and prevent leaks as well um, staple line reinforcement widely studied but we still don't know does it help is it worth it is it worth the cost and time and effort and which method and material works the best so what we know from the background about incidence zero to three percent uh, outcomes are bad after you have a bleed, how bad? And predictors and risk factors, not really well studied because uh, it's low incidence, you really need to have large numbers to study that. And then the effect of straight, straight, staple line treatment is all over the place. So we, uh, using a large national data set, wanted to determine the incidence, consequences, and factors associated with post-operative bleeding after uh, sleeve gastrectomies. And we also wanted to compare the effect of various staple line treatment uh, on it. We use the MBS AQIP database. For those who don't know about this database, it's a, it's a joint effort from the ASMBS and American College of Surgeons accreditation program. They came out with a participant user file in 2015. It has clinical uh, variables, bariatric specific surgeries, and 30 day outcomes. It's HIPAA compliant. They just came out with it in 2016 as well. We, however, use a 2015 file, which has 742 centers and 168,000 patients in it. Uh, we selected patients undergoing sleeves using the CPT codes, excluded extremes of ages and revisional procedures. We collected demographics uh, and uh, preoperative clinical variables that are in the MBSA QIP. That's a big strength of the data set. Uh, intraoperative variables were also used, including bougie size and conversions and approaches. And we looked at uh, um, various outcomes, including post operative bleeding, but also uh, complications, readmissions, and um, discharge disposition mortality. The staple line groups, we had four groups in our analysis. Uh, no treatment, that is, you staple off the sleeve, you don't do anything after that. Uh, over sewing with a suture, and buttressing by a commercial material, and a combination of both buttressing and uh, over sewing. Uh, post operative bleeding we defined as any hemorrhage uh, that required a blood transfusion within 72 hours of the procedure or required a procedural intervention for bleeding. May that be an uh, operative intervention, endoscopy, or IR. Uh, analysis is pretty straightforward. We compared uh, factors associated with post-operative bleeding, uh, those are pre-operative and intraoperative factors. We use univariate analysis and multivariate logistic regression. To look at the various staple line effects, we ran multi multiple models. Uh, we use the bond for any cor correction there as well. Uh, so what do we find? Patient population, first of all, 98,000 patients, so we have enough numbers to study this uh, rare event. Um, mean age, 80% uh, females, 75% white, very typical, and uh, BMI is about 45, uh, the mean BMI. Uh, staple line treatment, if we uh, look at this, about 33% had no treatment done. The most common was buttressing. This is surgeons at 70, 742 centers across the country, 10% uh, over, so the staple line, where 13% did both. Um, post our bleeding, 623 patients had a bleeding event, 181, about 30% of those had a re needed a reoperation, and about 5% uh, underwent endoscopy. Mean units, uh, 2.6 units of blood was given. If you look at the various staple line effects, and this is just crude analysis, so 0.8% uh, in the untreated group and 0.55% in the combination group. For those who did have bleeding, if you look at their outcomes, uh, median length of stay was higher, three days versus two days. Discharge of facility also higher, four days, uh, sorry, 4% versus 0.5%. Higher 30-day mortality, 
higher unplanned readmissions, much higher organ deep space infection, higher acute renal failure, cardiac arrest and CPR, you don't want that to happen in elective cases. Uh, pulmonary embolism, much higher, unplanned intubation. So almost every complication, much higher if you had a bleed, 13.8 uh, uh, versus 1.3%. If you look at risk factors uh, for patients who had bleeds uh, in a multivariate analysis, uh, preoperative factors included age, so the higher age, higher bleeding rates. Uh, weight, increased weight has lower bleeding rate by a little bit. Uh, pre hematocrit levels, higher hematocrit levels pre-op is uh, uh, less bleeding. And then GERD, renal insufficiency, and hypertension, and if you're on therapeutic anticoagulation, was associated with uh, higher bleeding rates. Mm -hmm. um, looking at intraoperative uh, variables and staple line effects, if you compare it to no treatment, overso, but, uh, buttress, or combination, all three led to de less bleeding uh, postoperatively. And then if you had a concurrent procedure of liver biopsy, you're more likely to have a postoperative bleed. Conversions and placement of drain were also associated with uh, bleeds. Um, this is the multivariate analysis. If you look at untreated staple line versus other three groups alone, you can see that over so, uh, you have 27% less likely to bleed. If you buttress, you're 30% less likely to bleed. If you do a combination, you're 34% less likely to bleed as well. But if you compare the various methods with, it, with each other, over so and buttress, no significant difference. Over so versus combination, no significant difference either. Buttress and combination, no significant difference. Um, so in summary, post operative bleeding about 0.6%, but devastating consequences increased almost every single complication available that we could study. Uh, risk factors that increase bleeding include, include a history of renal insufficiency, GERD hypertension, anticoagulation, uh, concurrent liver biopsies. But those that decrease bleeding, um, younger patients, more weight, and very importantly, staple line treatment, and any single method, not a combination. We have some limitations of our study. Of course, it's a database study limited to vectors we have. We cannot, it's always residual confounding of it there. Um, unfortunately, we cannot account for clustering by facility or surgeon or surgeon preferences. Uh, our definition of bleeds is not pick out non-clinical bleeds, so only if an intervention, including a transfusion, was done, do we pick those them up. And then we don't have details regarding the specific method of uh, or technique used for staple line treatment. In conclusion, post oral bleeding after a sleeve has dire consequences for both the patient and presumably healthcare costs as well. We have to prevent these, and um, you can recognize and optimize high-risk patients. We have identified some high-risk features. So we can use those, but importantly, we can treat the staple line either by oversewing or buttressing in our study. Thank you very much.